I'm Luke Edgerson and I, I work for the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Behind me is a uh, bike net we've set up in the Valley River. Uh, bike nets are a type of trap net that's designed to capture fish as they're uh, traveling upstream during their spawning migration. The, the wings will funnel the fish up into the trap and uh, we'll be able to check the trap in the morning and evening and pull out any fish that we catch in there. Hopefully there's some sickle time. So we'll do, I don't the, this is a sickle fin red horse. Whoa. Whoa. See that bright red tail? And uh, the one obviously the, the sickle. That's my favorite color. So uh, for each one, we'll measure them. And, and then we'll eventually take a weight. Wow, how wide. And then, uh, <laughs> but each fish we catch, we use this. This is a called a pit tag reader. Yeah, yeah. So this is a recapture. This is a fish we've already, it's like a little microchip like you have in a dog. So it's the exact same kind of technology. So you can scan it and you'll have like a, a unique number uh, for each fish. So we can track that fish over time, see if, how it grows. So this is a sicklefin male and we know it's a male because it has breeding tubercles. Uh, most fish, uh, especially minnows and Definitely red horse. They all get breeding tubercles uh, yeah. near their breeding season. In there. I've seen 50 to 100, 150, 200 at one time. You know, yeah, yeah. Pretty absolutely. big fish, but you see that many in this little creek here right. today. Well, we're out here today trying to get a uh, population estimate for sickle fin red horse in the Valley River, and we're going to use that population estimate to help uh, make a decision on whether we can use this population for reintroducing them in the upper Hiawassee and upper Nautilus rivers.